fade to black. It's Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. We got it. The board. No longer needed. No more shall disease plague men die. We did it, folks. We finished Human Resources. A first draft of the movie has been completed, and this is a celebratory drink of apple juice. Here we go. And it tastes delicious. The taste of victory is delicious. We're in a wonderful Big Bear Resort vacation with our family, but here we are making videos, making feature film robust every day. Keep that grind up. And I got Evan Swope back with me again because of the massive success of the last episode. People just said, oh my gosh, bring back Evan. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Had a lot of uh, good letters. A lot of hate letters towards me saying, why haven't you had him on in the past? We can put yeah. that in the past. The past is and behind us. Past is behind us. And also us. a frozen lake is behind us, which is kind of awesome. But yeah. today we're gonna be talking to you about just what it's like finishing a draft of a screenplay, a feature screenplay for the first time. Yeah. And another sip for victory of our beautiful apple juice. What were your, I guess, initial feelings and reactions to finishing a screenplay? It felt very rewarding. I can't, there's no really other word to describe it. We set time aside every week and we got it done and it just feels like yesterday where we were like, wow, we finished 10 pages. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Now we have 106 pages yeah. and a complete story. And watching back, like watching the older episodes, so weird because it kept feeling like such a goal to hit. Now I'm one to talk about getting through a screenplay quickly because like I said, we're only about 45 pages through the whole thing. And then when it's there, you're like, oh, I have a feature screenplay done. Yeah, wow. We may fall flat on our faces in the attempt to do it, but uh, so far we have a triple thumbs up there. I wish I had a third thumb to do a triple thumbs up with. There we go. Another thing we also did was I sat down and I sent the screenplay to a couple people and I FaceTimed with them and I got a chance to figure out some of the initial reactions of our script. So here are a couple clips of responses to people. All right, so what did you think here? Human resources, four months in I the thought making. It was lovely. Yeah! Resources is great. Go see it in theaters. Can you get that second draft? Send it to me with those changes. Yeah, totally. Thank you Thank for you your so beautiful good. notes. I'm of so course. happy you read it. Oh my gosh, you enjoyed it was so reading good. it. It was so gripping. Oh my gosh, I loved it. Wasn't that just great? It's very gratifying to, very to gratifying. see good feedback because you never know. You're writing in kind of a vacuum. You're like this. Seems good to me, but yeah, we have no yeah. idea how other people are, will react. So yeah. it's good that we've already gotten some good exactly. reactions. Yeah, I always think of the like metaphor of like, it's like sending your child to school for the first time and seeing if the other kids like your child and, and seeing what your child has to work on to become better and if they'll yeah. be bullied or not. Luckily, our kid did not get bullied too hard. Um, there were a couple critiques and there were some trends in the critiques. Yeah. Hey guys, I'm sitting here editing and I realized that I just really want to spoil everything in the screenplay for you guys. So here's clips of really specific details Details that people gave us notes on so you can know everything going on with our screenplay. I honestly think it would it would read a lot differently yeah. if the first act had like the first time that I actually started being like, oh this is taking a turn, I didn't expect what Yeah, and I think just add like maybe And then it turns out Now back to the show. I've always heard from the writing classes I've taken, one of the most common pieces of advice is all writing is rewriting. We feel like we have a complete thing, but like there's so much more. Like eventually we're gonna right. get to a point where we're ready to, to make it, but there's always stuff we can change. And it's just finding the balance, finding things that don't make sense to people. Yeah. It's gonna be a, a pretty intense process shaping this thing into a final project. We've made it so far just finishing a skeleton of a draft. Yeah. Until you have that skeleton, you cannot present anything and you cannot start down on that path. But I like what you said about how it's never really done. You have to stop at some point. You have to stop overthinking it. There have been so many versions of our characters. Yeah, it's interesting going back because like as you write your characters, they become more fully formed. Yeah, Sam's character kind of came through the plot rather than vice versa. We were like, oh, these are, this is more like version one of this character because you don't really see who this character is until you're done with the project. Like we went back and add two major scenes. Yeah, so that scene with the was written three minutes before I sent you the draft. I can't believe that that, that uh, the f scene was just added in. We found that through writing our plot, and yeah. it's, it's you interesting. You work backwards a lot. Unless you're building your entire story around the idea of one character trait or something. Yeah, I mean, we really started with the... <laughs> 
And it's just like, oh my god. <laughs> the characters were the last thing that we were kind of worried, like, these are the things yeah. that we're going to really need to shape uh, as we yeah. put together this Which plot. was such the opposite of the world within Vincent, because that came from this, it yeah. stemmed Started from with characters. the character of Vincent, and we wanted to tell his story. You can't tell me what to do, boss man. Vincent has control of his own destiny. In human resources, it's like we have a really excitable pitch. How do we tell that pitch with the best characters? There's so many different ways to write. And going back to criticisms, like what we're doing right now is I'm listening to every single piece of feedback, every single one, putting it all into a Google Doc. After we have looked and we have responded to a couple of my close filmmaking friends, then you could look back, take a step back, and be like, what are the, what are the important changes? Now that we have a complete script, even though it's not, it will require a lot of revision, we can finally start pre-production. Yeah. Because we have that outline. It doesn't need to be perfect. We have the arc of the story written out. There's going to be changes, but we can actually get the ball rolling on getting yeah. people involved. So we're going to start launching into, probably in the next episode, our casting process, which is going to be insane <sighs> and crazy. so much fun to see all the faces to look at and everyone to cast, which would be super, super fun. Hear people read our words. Here. So going into pre-production here, we have a lot of work ahead of us. Because writing, though it be though be it vigorous, is not going to compare to the sheer amount of blood, sweat, and tears that are about to be spent on human yeah. resources. I really can't wait to start working on pre-production stuff. That's certainly one of my favorite parts of the entire process. Planning all the details and just building the puzzle up even more. So, we will be starting casting here very soon, and then we're gonna start all the other pre-production stuff, and you'll all be here along the ride, and there's gonna be probably one more episode of stuff we're doing here up in Big Bear. We're gonna get back to it, doing the vacation-y things, I'm enjoying the frozen lake. Evan, thanks for joining me again, and uh, that's gonna wrap it up for us on Feature Film or Bust Episode 5. I hope you all finished up your holiday season wonderfully, and uh, I wish you the best of luck in it all, and, and don't let human resources escape your mind, because we're always here. We'll see you on the flippity-flip. Peace out. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.